everybody, and welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're live. We're here. We're going to be doing some more Pokemon Legends Arceus today. We're in the second area. We just did a little bit of exploring in that uh, yesterday, so we've got a long ways to go. Uh, a lot of mons to catch. A lot of uh, things to discover to complete our Pokedex. We've got uh, Lucky Cat here. She's probably about to leave. Um, so if it's your first time joining us, please help me out and uh, drop a follow here on the stream uh, if you've been here before drop a like share comment some stars if you feel like it and uh, if you're over there on YouTube thanks for watching good to see you guys over there checking out the channel check it out sometime if you haven't if you're over here on Facebook black Ram GX gaming it's great we got full streams up every day and tons of great shorts I think we put up two shorts the last couple days so lots of good content on there for you to check out even if you're just looking for a nice little clip here and there um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Lucky cat. Should we get started? All right. She says meow. So this is exactly where we left off yesterday. I should probably do an inaugural cheers here. We're almost done with this this week. Almost over. It's been great here on the stream. Been having a blast with this game. Got some new faces. We're seeing our. Uh, Follower numbers grow up there. I think it was actually 228. I think I saw two come in. So it says 226, but that's false. It's better. Over the last night, that's great. Thank you, guys. Whoever did it. I don't know. I didn't get a notification. Maybe it'll pop up today or Monday or something. I don't know. This was the one I got yesterday. That I think someone followed back on Monday. It took like two days before I saw it either on Facebook or over here on the stream. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm the, I don't work on the back end. Cheers. <sighs> Delicious. <clears throat> okay. So where are we at with things? I think we determined that we're just going to beat up another one of those with Typhlosion. It'll be fine. We can feed two of those or beat them up with Fire-type moves. Oh, if we beat one with Fire-type moves, that's done. Same with him. We're going to beat him up, do some ground-type moves. Beat him up with grass-type moves. We can do that. Feed one. That's right. we got to stun him with a move, or with an item, which doesn't seem to happen. Otherwise, we're just going to keep beating him up and trying to catch him. These guys, let's see. I think I've got the one with me. So we'll have to see if he's got rollout. Otherwise, we'll keep catching him. Crow gunk. We didn't defeat any. I don't think we have any more psychic moves either. So we'll have to see as we get along here. What are we doing? Ah, here's the crew. Oops, I was in the right place. Um, let's see what moves he's got. If he has rollout, that's fantastic. And he doesn't. No, yeah, that's right. We've got some stuff. Oh, we're not all at full health here. But we could be. I don't know how long we should sleep. I don't know the time of days and who's out when around here. So we're just rolling with it. What? You think I can hoof it across here? That was pretty awesome. Here's the thing. I know if we continue with the story. Oh, 
we'll probably get something that can uh, help us move around by water or by air. I assume the air is going to be like the last thing. Alright, I guess it's fighting time. I need to actually try to just catch these. I'm focusing a little too much on the whole... Uh, Fire type moves. Okay. On the whole, trying to knock him out thing. All right, so Tang was done. Exactly what we wanted. Okay, well, thank you for the like. Cheers. Just a second. Cheers. Appreciate it. Oh. So catching him is just out of the question now. Oh. Did that come from the fist? Fish barboach. I hope not. Looks like we've got an anonymous third reaction here. Nothing's come up. Let's see who it is. Oh, there it is. Uncanny love. Thank you for the like. Cheers, buddy. How are you doing? What up, what up? See it move right to the splash. Add away. Get in my collection. Okay. So we caught one large. We're at nine now. I'm gonna try to stun it again, I guess. Same low this time. Fail. Good, good. Finally got my fix. Oh. There goes Lucky Cat. She's officially left us. So we no longer need blanket protection. She's still got her claws, so she tears me apart. Well, that's good. What you drinking? An arrogant bastard? Is that the only thing you drink, or do you ever have uh, yourself like a nice cheap beer? You know, everyone needs a nice cheap beer. Oh. 
Where is he running? Hey, since you got your fix too, if you're still in here. Cheers. I'll cheers one with you. I did one for you, but this one's with you. He's so weak to be hitting me like that. And he's blueing in the water. How is he not... I get he's like a poison fighting type, but... Come on! Psychic types. I... Oh, I got Psyduck. What am I doing? Oh, you... Turd McMuffin. Now, I personally, as a person, am poisoned. <laughs> so we'll keep beating him on the next one. That'll get us... Mm, six, eight... Ten? We'll be done if we beat one more of the second moves. It's nice how you can go from nothing to something real quick. That's eight and nine. If we just beat one more, we're good. Good. And this guy's done too. Oh, shoot. I see that up there. We gotta go get it. Come on, Mount Fernal. Fighting. Here we go. Oh, Samuel Anderson. Thank you for the like. Cheers. Good to see you, in, as usual. And the shares. Thank you very much, Sam. Cheers. Force our way up here. Oh, a crow. He's looking right at us, but I still think we can get him. He's not ready to... I thought it was 32. Is that another one? I just caught one, didn't I? Or did he escape? So weird. Okay, he can finally evolve. Let's see what happens here. Fire Monkey 3. Look at that. Infernape. He looks kind of cool. Can you do anything new? Ta da!
Whoa. Is that a scon? Akanga scon? Wow, he's pretty big too. No, it's a bear. <gasps> uh, Ursing or something like that? Has no idea that I'm even here. I did think my chances were not so great. Is this, whoa, my God, Is this mini bear is coming right after me. We can go, we can go. Meet me over here, bear. Come on, come on. You don't want some of Juke City. Oh, look at that. 69 Pokeballs left. That is a hilarious number. Therefore, drink. Cheers. really not too trusting. What about that berry that's just right over there? Awfully tempting for the third time. Big guy, big stomach. Yeah, hard to resist. Ha ha! Fifty-five, that was pretty solid. straight to the source here. So our two, four, six. Whoops. Okay, we can go. We can go. You and me. Let's let's do it, little monkey guy. He's the bear guy. I'm a big monkey guy. Sorry. Aha! I'm a big fan of the monkey here we got um all right let's evolve side duck give him the old gold duck i was always confused why he was gold duck why side duck was yellow and gold duck is blue i think they could have swapped colors there Would you like some food, little guy? Is something really mad? What's happening? Oh, we can go. We can go, little guy. I can't even see him.
He was really cramping my style there, getting me caught and stuff. Okay. So let's see. Where are we at with these teddies? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I tried to give one food. As soon as this guy eats, we're done. do with our friend gold duck here so send headbutt agile moves we don't have the last one agile zen headbutts should be enough to get us there might take a lot though where's that down there oh it's one of those squirrel guys oh heck no someone's getting me that Oh, he's got Thunderbolt now. Okay, we're good. We're good. So now we can finish up Jolteon, too. There'll be one more down. Let's see. What is his thing? Oh, he's right here. Agile move, Thunderbolts, and Baby Doll Eyes. I think that we can do. So it looks like the drop off here is immense. Oh, hello, look at that. So we won't do that drop off. Ooh, a Roselia, we gotta catch that. They're one of the M alls we gotta catch. Hit him with one more catch him. Too easy. A lot of hay out here. <gasps> A Ralts. Where are you running? What are you scared of? Yeah, this thing almost screwed that up for me. Yeah, he's gonna have to go. Oh, what am I supposed to do with the ape? I forgot about him. Flare Blitz, Raging Fury, Agile Moves. That's how we can do his Agile Moves. Whoa. We 
can rather quickly uh, erase this barrel. Oh, that didn't do a lot. That did. Hashtag erased. Uh, we don't need to explore that way just yet. Six, eight, ten. Okay. So we're gonna play around with those guys. Whoa. Something new. Do you like finding new things? So we'll have to go over and get those dragonflies soon. But maybe, just maybe, there's more Roselia around here that we can mess with. There's one over here in these ruins before. <gasps> there it is. Okay, let's take a look. So if we catch one more, that'll get us up to seven. All right, let's do it. Let's keep blasting away here with the old thunderbolts. Cheers. Okay. So if we use four more, two, four, six, eight. Then we'll just need one Agile move. Or we can do three Agile moves. I guess I vote for the three Agile moves. Oh, we fighting. My Jilteon is straight up drowning. But water conducts electricity, right? Jolteon ought to be done now. So we can make our way back. Squirrel. He can do Thunder Shock. Okay. Okay, so we can still catch this guy. 
Whoa, what is this gang shit? One for all and all for one with these little critters. All right, let's say it's time we just take care of these guys. This ganging up thing ain't doing it for me. This is over. Once he didn't have any support. Then, uh, that's all she wrote. Space. I can see I'm not meant to be up there. I think we we beat up a ghastly, right? I was going to nightfall so that it'd be ghastly, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Did it. Wow. Such relaxing music. Okay, we caught one, and catching them seems to do a lot. Coming up being spotted. So food and catching them seems to go a long way. He's finally done, he's finally done, he's finally done. Got a little bit of ways to go with this guy. Just be using those moves. He doesn't have his moves yet we need, but... We can keep doing the Agile moves for now. Eventually, if we do 20 Agile moves, we'll be all done. Oh, Mercurial evolves now? I don't think it used to. It's pretty cool. We caught him. He used Spark. He leapt out of the tree. Nice. Ralts. Caught, he was small. Very nice. Very smooth. Now we just gotta defeat some of some psychic powers. Good, good, good. Uh 
Ur uh, Ursaring evolves now, huh? Don't think he used to. He used to just be the Teddy Ursa to the Ursaring. Tan growth is done now, right? Okay. Well, we've got a lot to go here. So we'll get rid of tan growth for now and Jolteon. So we got them all paired together here. Yeah, let's take Ralts. Okay, first we'll take these guys over to the darks. I don't know if I have a dark category. These guys are poison. I just put them with the ghosts. Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine, I think. The grass guys. Twenty-two, both male. Nineteen. We'll release all them. Oh, shoot. I forgot Tangrowth. Of course, we got our EV little cave here. Really, it should kind of go like this. It'll be the three friendlies. This will be on Umbreon, and the other one, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Glaceon, and Leafeon up here. The ones that are all stones up there. That's how I'll do that. Got a little OCD, so we gotta figure it out. Look at that, they all got different stats. Okay, so all these guys have got some learned to do before they can uh, be classified as done, so we're good. Thanks for the grit stuff. You always gotta have your grits. Uh, let's see. I believe. Oh, whoops. There might be some tasks that we're done with here. Ah, it's not completed. Pokemon with the three leaves. What is that?
It's called the Petalil. I have not seen that yet. This I have done. Also, I haven't been in here. Is this just like, can I decorate my little room, my paper shack? Cheers. Yes, I would take a photograph. I think I'd like to look at the camera. Hero pose, whoa ho ho. Sitting, sitting plainly, looking sad. Mm. Let's just do at the ready. Expression will be We'll be thinking. I am I supposed to just already have my Pokemon out? You said we were supposed to be taking pictures with them. Old man, you're a liar. Okay, so we can only do one. I thought I could select more than one there. Actually, have just like backgrounds. Okay, yeah, that was interesting. Huh. Easily use that as a thumbnail if I could figure out how to get it off of um, here. Clothes. I 
I wish they would show you what's new. But at the moment, it looks like nothing. Not that I looked through everything, but... All right. Hardy grains. We'll give him his hardy grains. I haven't found a chair yet. So I wonder if this will unlock those shiny bales of hay. Or if I'll have to do even more yet. Another star. You know, this becoming master rank thing is pretty easy. So they'll just, no matter what, obey me at this point. And gigaton balls. I've never even heard of that. <clears throat> Oh, Ralts can evolve already? I think we can't evolve Ralts, though. We gotta finish him first. Yeah. What was he just at? Just two? He's at four. Yeah. Might as well just evolve him. I didn't even see that he could just evolve from the start. Look at that. Curlia. So that'll get him up to six. Find another one. We give it food five times, four times, they'll be done. So that's not too bad. All right, so caught, small one caught. That's another four, five, uh, six, because it's evolved. And then we can just do draining kiss 12 times. I forgot, we're going to have to go back and look for that Munchlax. I think it's because I don't have Hardy Grains currently on me. Perhaps. So I have to just go get some. First, let's talk to this kid about the wisps that we caught. Found, I should say. And you know what? Maybe we'll keep looking around and try to find more wisps around town. Because I bet I can find all of them in town quick here. one over there. Three remaining? Really two. J 
Cheers. Haha, <laughs> just like I thought. One left. And I think I checked behind here already, so I probably don't need to, but let's do a quick run through. Because I feel like it's in the village. If there's one left, that means they've all been here. Why would they put one outside of the village? Not that they haven't. They could. It just doesn't seem as likely. curious what these buildings are now so they've just finished construction on some new buildings just another house just so many people move into the village i guess it's really cool to see it develop and so really this last one could be anywhere you know could be out here somewhere could be um, in any of the cabins or houses or whatever. You're quite small. Hello. There it is. Complete. Uh, so we can just go. Let's go here first. We'll go give the old man his hearty grains, and then we'll come back and we'll talk to the uh, kid about the Will-O-Wisps. Honestly, it sounds like a lot, but they haven't really been that bad as long as you're exploring the area. Like, it kind of sucks that you're going to have to re-explore the first area to find them. It's really not that big, and I've got it all mapped out up here, so... Before I forget, let's get some extra space in our inventory. Cheers. I feel like it can and it will get more expensive, but I'll keep be able to keep going up. took half my money for three spaces. It seems like such a good, a bit large amount, bleh, I should say. I've got to get here. Does he have the moves that we need? I guess I didn't pay attention. Oops. Bulldoze. Slash. That's pretty much it. 
They only have two. I think I saw bulldoze. No? No, I did. Okay. Bulldoze is 60. And he's got some good moves already. Take out double edge. And I just didn't pay attention to Slash there. Let me check one more time. I do apologize. It's not his best moves, or it's the moves we need to see him do. Thanks to you, you can spend more money at my store. Nothing's, nothing's half off. Everything still costs as much. Buy five of those. Get that up to a nice round number. All right, Will-O-Wisp kid. Away! Oh. Big Daddy Bear, though. Oval Stone. Rare Candy. Okay, with the Oval Stone, we'll actually be able to evolve our little friend there. Um, we'll just put that in the to-do list as we get to our fairy Pokemon here. Oh, normal, sorry. So it's just because I'm holding on to it? Yeah. Okay. So what we're trying to do here, at least with all these Pokeballs, so we free up some space, the berries were pretty much what I was going to have. That's going to be good for uh, getting Pokemon that notice us quite easily. But we're trying to burn through these two. So we've got 70... Pokeball throws to go through. Then eventually we'll burn through those great balls and we'll just bound be be down to the ultra balls, feather balls, and wing balls. That's kind of the goal. Uh, let's see if we can find that munchlax. If we can find the munchlax. We can complete that Pokedex entry. If he's not there. Mm -hmm. We'll simply have to take it as a loss. He's not here again. How unfortunate. Used to be down here all the time. And by that I mean I've seen him exactly one time. It looks like if there's just too much air time, they just don't come out. Oh, fine. We can dance. We can dance if you want to. 
But if your friends don't dance, then well, they don't dance. They're no friends of mine. Oh no. The only two moves I cared about don't work on this guy. Hey, Brianna, thank you for the like. Appreciate it. Um, give me a second here. Cheers. Nope, I want to go home. Let's go. Yes, we're going to go here now. Jeepers Creepers. That's a big pretzel. Until morning. We've got the oval stone. So I think during the day. Perhaps we'll be able to get uh, A little guy to evolve. So right, we gotta get a running head start. So we're trying to finish off Roselia and Routes. I don't see Routes. Instead, I see this Badoo. You could but not be here. Uh, bad joke, but had to make the attempt. All right, so let's see, Roselia, Roselia. What do we gotta do here? Defeat with psychic moves. If we defeat one with psychic moves, we are in the clear. Let's go! I should have seen that coming. Why haven't I been collecting these, harvesting them with my Pokemon?
So Ralt seems kind of rare, just like Munchlax, where until you've caught one or fought one, <gasps> there's no way for you to know how to work them. Caught. Given food. Okay. So. Food will get him up to seven. If I feed this thing twice. Well, I'll just try to catch him. And I can feed another one around here. Because if I don't catch him, I'll feed this one again. That's how you do it, and he's all done. Two forms. It's one point, so six. Um, eight, ten, twelve, okay. He's good and done. Side duck up there? I think so. Now the Badoozers. Nothing else out here. I'm kind of surprised. So we can feed these guys. Fed him, that'll get us up to five. Feed him two more times. That'll get him up to seven. I think I catch that one unawares. Two cut. Um, five, seven, eight, ten. Should be done. All right. Don't need to mess with you guys no more. See what gold ducks at. Sun headbutt. So we'll be up to five. One more agile move will put him up to six.
You're just gonna hit me with poison. That's some bitch. Cheers. There we go. Yeah, we got Aqua Tail. We should be able to get them done, no problem. There's a gold duck right up there. Yeah, no. Okay. So he's gained four. He's at eight. Two more. So I believe two more aqua tails and three speed moves. Not too bad. Not too harsh. Definitely doable. Let's see what about this guy. So catching does a lot. Catching in the evening does even more. Catching without being spotted. They evolved too. That one was sleeping. Can't be napping out here. Now with your boy watching, waiting. You were supposed to evolve when you had an oval stone. Schnakies. Whoa, big hippo. Ow. I'm trying to feed one of these hippos and they just don't want none. Feed it, defeat it with grass type moves twice, and that'll be enough. Say less. Oh, I don't have anyone with grass type moves. You don't want the smoke. But 
I guess we'll give it to him. Cheers. So we can just beat up on four of them instead then, since we can't seem to feed them. We don't have any grass type moves. Um, okay. Not gonna do much there, bud. This will. All right, let's just do this. <clears throat> How strong could he be? You know. <clears throat> hey, Sammy. Sammy. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I'm gonna catch this Hippowdon. Allegedly. It's almost Friday, so I'm happy. I hear you. Same here. Can't wait for Friday to be done. Rough. It's going to be one of those I'm just happy I caught it situations. Sam, you like that? That's how close we become. That's how good of friends we are. Any fun plans for the weekend? Oh. Nothing crazy on Friday. Saturday, doing like a makeup Valentine's with the girlfriend. That should be fun. Sunday football's over, so I guess just relaxing. How about you? Level up, but no new moves. That's unfortunate. And everyone's good again. Still got a... Oh, I've seen you use Bite. So that's three. So this dude is done. Check him off the list. Did you see the dodge? He thought he was going to get me. <laughs> Not a chance. Did you see that, Sam? Sammy? Samwise?
Oh, hell yeah, I could help you set up a camp. Let's do this. What do you think, Sam? Alright, before we go in, there's three skunkies here. Well, stunks. Um, if we defeat them and defeat them with ground type moves, should be good. Let's go. Oh, I guess we're not here to fight. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up a base camp. Can you destroy. <laughs> Can you destroy their habitat? Just watch. Let's go. I think there's probably a way without having to fight him if you want to do like the good guy route, but like, come on. We don't got time. We have a gigantic bear. We'll just bulldoze him out of the way. Literally. Alright, Sam. At this point in the fight, if you had to bet money on who's going to win, me or the Stunkies, who would you bet on? Disregarding everything you just saw, though. Man, if I had known that was coming, I wouldn't have wasted all my items. The base camp was right here. How could I know? How could I know? Cheers. Let's talk about it. Making that money. All right, let's see. So I don't know what they evolved to or anything like that, but we caught them. Earth Ring's getting there. One slash and one bulldoze and he's done. We could take him out and put in Hippowden, even though I really like him having him. He's such an enforcer, he's so big. Stunky's done, Roselia's done, Pachirisu's done, Hippo Badass is done, Badoo is done, Barboach is done, Gold Duck is extremely close to being done. One Aqua Tail. Well, might as well just be four Aqua Tails. What I like to do, stop talking to you. We're probably good. Okay, why isn't Happiny evolving? What do we got to do?
because we've done what I thought we had to do. Daytime hold the oval stone. But I don't think we can make a specific Pokemon holding this. Let's just look at somebody else. It says just use the oval stone on him. Maybe it's got to be daytime. Suddenly it'll work now. That'd be really confusing for people to just figure it out on their own. Oh boy. <laughs> there it is. All right. Well, we figured it out. Now we got a Chansey. Oh, which Chansey can evolve. Do you learn rollout yet? No. This is some bullshit. Okay. Well, obviously we can't evolve Chansey right away. So happen he was at seven. Now it's at nine, so we'll have to catch or give food to another one. So Chansey here, gonna be at four. If we evolve it, uh, it should go up to six. We could use soft boiled 12 times. Unless does it have a location, not found. doesn't even have soft boiled. Let's take a look at the map. So we can go down here, maybe even around to here at the bottom. Hard to say, kind of looks like it. We got kind of this whole area to look through yet. Down the hill we go. This looks like where uh, Apex would spawn. Kind of like a big nest.
So that'll get us up to six right there. I'm gonna fight a couple here. What about Ursa Ring here? Seven. One bulldoze, one slash. We can get his one slash out. We're not gonna be able to do any bulldoze to ground type. He's flying. Hawaiian. I think that'll do the job. Yippers. Alright. Gold duck. Aqua tail four times. That we can do. Maybe if he doesn't get crushed out here. Cheers. They keep getting that first strike in. That seems to be uh, no so bueno for Gold Duck. off the map not supposed to do that it's another apex or sering hello A wish cash. Okay, he wants to dance. We've got no choice. This is not going well for the old duck. So that's funny. I was wondering how this was going to work. So water Pokemon will swim. But uh, non-water types get a floaty platform. What did that just say? New move? Someone just got one. Oh, I swear someone did.
Hmm. One more Aqua Tail will finish him off. He's done. So I better juice up the old boy. Gold Duck is done, officially. Versa Ring is done, officially. these guys five six seven eight if we defeat one more that's nine don't have any rock type moves that's a big ten four negative over it Shoot. All right, dude, you don't even know what's coming. I'm about to get beat up. Cheers. Two more agile moves will get him up to eight. All right. Um, four, six, seven, eight, nine. What did they evolve to? Evolves the Yam Mega after ancient power learned, supposedly. Hmm. I have to defeat like six more. Which can be arranged. Again, Mega sounds boss though. Oh, how did 
miss that. Oh, I know I missed that. Did it on purpose. I didn't want to deal with whatever comes out. Don't do it, Yanma. I have the high ground. Right? I don't know that movie. An extra cheers, if you can name it. Space-time formations keep happening where I can't go. I literally can't reach it! Even the weakest Pokemon seems like they can do so much damage. Goal here not to beat it. Son of a bitch. That's the second time I've one hit him without intending to in the slightest. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna beat these two right here.
Caught two. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta go to the bathroom quick, everybody. I will be right back one minute. Interesting. Oh, one of the new TikTok videos, I guess. Got a few extra likes, not bad. isn't getting these moves I need him to have. Get that number up. More smoke bombs, perfect. Don't really need the max potions just yet, so we can dump those. Right, Ursa Ring's done. Gold Duck is done. Powed on out.
no ancient power yet, so we'll we'll take this one out and see if we can evolve him. See if there's anything special to get quick tongue to evolve. Looks like you can straight up just catch a Licky Licky. But, but. Once he hits 34, he learns Rollout, which is a move we're waiting to be able to even finish him. And uh, at that point, he can just level up. So, once we get him there, we'll have to. Uh, Teach him the moves. Get him to use them. And we'll be good. Because, yeah, we'll have to roll out six times quick. Level him up. Or evolve him. No big deal. Okay, strong moves. Mud bomb. Otherwise, we're just going to have to beat up more. Does he have mud bomb? And even that gonna be like hmm good amount of mud bombs okay who else have we got here He's got to learn a move, he's got to learn a move, got to learn a move, got to learn a move. And so pretty much the only one that needs to do any fighting is a Powdon. Yeah. Look at him. It only appears over here where I literally can't reach unless I go up and all the way around. I got to follow this cave system right here. Ooh, a Haunter. Okay. We'll get this quick, and then we'll try to catch the Haunter. He does not see me. That would be some shenanigans. Cheers. Was that? Ooh, so this guy. So cut one. Aqua Tail, Mud Bomb, Strong Style Move. So he's one I'm going to have to bring around with me, probably. 
He's now at two, four, five. Okay. We got Hippowd in here. What was it that hopped out? I wanted to see, but I didn't really want to fight it. So this is kind of a new area, the Scarlet Bog. I think I made it here before, but I didn't get all the way through. reasons that are unknown to me. I think at that point I had been fighting a lot and catching a lot. This feels like a very jumpable cliff. One more time. Hippowdon was... Strong style, okay. I'm about to get it right here. Didn't even see that dude. Cheers. Another one down there for me to fight? There is. Maybe that'll make things go faster. Powdun, E, a Powdun. Apex, E Apex. Not off to an immediate great start. Yeah, that's gonna hurt, huh? There's nothing I can throw out there that's not going to just get absolutely crushed. Unfortunately, I think Typhlosion's going to have to sit out this one on the XP, but what can I do? Oh no, he's dead. Oh, Inferno Abe. My guy. For some reason, I thought he was a rock type and that Mach Punch was going to do anything. So defeated. Gets him up to 6. 7, 8. One more Mud Bomb. That's because he had to miss out on some experience there. Oh, 
good. It kind of seems nice. It seems like they've eliminated the need for trading in this game because there isn't more than one type of game. Hey, Jacob, what's going on? New operator on extraction and new crisis mode tomorrow? How am I doing, though? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? What's going on with you? Who's the new operator? Is it actually someone like New New? Or is it uh, someone from the game from Siege that they're just bringing over? And new crisis mode. Crisis mode, like uh, the assignment? I think it's called assignment or crisis. was like one of the achievements. Do you know what the difference is or what the details are on that? I'm kind of curious. Oh. How are your streams going? I was watching. I turned it on while I was working. I said, pick Habana. And I don't, I don't know if I watched the first game but when I looked back it was not Hibana I was like oh maybe maybe he just doesn't like that character <laughs> which I only picked her because so many people hate on her but your pistol challenge was good I was surprised I didn't see the end of that one either because I had a phone call at work but I saw you got to that protean I was like oh my god he's gonna do it Oh, stellar work, my guy. There's probably not many other people out there doing pistol only challenges. Reminds me of uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2. Used to do the terrorist hunt back before I had internet to play online with my cousin and we would do uh, pistols only and terrorist hunt all the time and we always died that game was a lot of fun back in the day because it was super realistic but I'll say this it was really hard and if the computer killed you it didn't tell you where or how or nothing all you had to know is that you were dead it was rough but I still liked it A lot. Oh, come on! No! Whew. What are these? Oh, that's good. Now it's Sophia. Christmas is supposed to be revealed, released tomorrow. It's kind of like Maelstrom Plus. And I couldn't take her. I was running Maelstrom. Thanks for dropping, though. Yeah, I'll drop by anytime I see it on. And I get a chance. It depends. Sometimes when I'm working, I can't turn it on, depending on uh, who's around me or if I'm working from home. What would I rate this game? Oh. In terms of Pokemon games, it's a 10. It's one of the best ones I've played. Um, I I am absolutely having a blast, and it's super uh, consuming. Ha. And there's a lot of pluses to it. I think, like, the fact that there's no... If you ever played these before... There's always like the red and blue, silver and gold, diamond and pearl. There's always two versions, so you can't catch them all. You gotta trade with people. A lot of stuff has to happen. But, this one's just a one-off. So, it kind of eliminates all that extra crap. 
which is kind of nice. There's a lot of really good changes to it. And is this thing making fart noises? I've got to have it. Oh no, he's going to kill himself. Oh, one more chance. He did try to kill himself. If he gets off this move, it drains the rest of his health. Woo! <laughs> we got him. Oh, that's the second one of those I've caught? I do not remember catching one. I must have done it yesterday. So I'll get me up to four points. That's all right. Not putting enough arm into it. I've wanted an open world Pokemon uh, Max. Been too into extinction uh, extraction. Sorry, extinction to pick it up though. I hear it. You know what? Great thing is, it'll be here when you're done. But it's super good. They have like uh, the three starters. I have three starters they've had before. I don't think they were ever in the same game. Maybe they were. Um, obviously the one I picked, Cyndaquil, was second generation. It's like Ocelot and Owl something. Those ones I'd never played. But, uh, I've noticed that they're, like, different versions of themselves. Like, this one's, this guy's part ghost instead of just being all fire. It's really cool. So they've got kind of, um, they reuse starters, so there's not a lot of new to the game in that way but you know like me missing a few generations of games because i never had a ds um some of them are new to me and some of the old ones now they've got this different flair because they're a different regional type so uh that makes it interesting and then they've got these alphas that you see sometimes like he doesn't have the red glowing eyes when I have them but they have red glowing light eyes out in the wild and they're double the size these are the same too but or I don't know an apex they call them it's fantastic I'm loving this open world and just doing your thing um, keeps me super busy and I like that you know before you would have to go through the grass and just hope on random chance you're finally gonna find the thing you want here you just walk around and you just see it and you go after it. That's so nice. It's kind of what you always envisioned as a kid. And now you got it. Oh, whoops. I want to capture this one because his color is different. He's probably not even a shiny. He's just probably a male versus a female. Some of them are ch different colors based on male or female. Sometimes there's the shinies out there. Which I've only seen the one and it was like a story based thing. The blue ponytail. Very cool. Oh. A few levels up. Chance he got a new move. Maybe the move we need. Soft boiled. Perfect. And uh, one other thing I think is really cool. Is that the Pokedex. Um, is something you actually have to work for. It's not just. Oh I caught it. I'm good. Um, you know you got to get this research level. You see here. To 10 and here's how you do it you know the two arrows up indicate whether it's with two points or if it's just a gray box it's worth one point um, how many times you got to do it so one time would get you one of those points two or three times to get the next point uh, so you can get 10 points however you want to whatever you find easiest and they're not officially in your pokedex until you get that 10 and then they get this little pokeball by them so i've got you can kind of see my bar there on the far right all of these in here. Uh, if they're colored and I've caught them before, and if they're not colored and I never have. So these are the other two stars, Rowlet and Oshawott. 
I think I played Pokemon Sword. Maybe not right when that came out, but eventually I got that. and I think I got a version of each of those, too. So that's the only time I've ever seen what they become. And Infernape, I think, was a... It was Chimchar and something else. I think they were starters in a different game, too. And I just randomly found them out in the wild. So it was really cool. Alright, so he's done. I don't need Pout in with me anymore. And you can see the little um, colored in numbers are ones I've done that I haven't gotten credit for yet. you got to like report back to get credit for it. So he'll be at research level 10, so I don't need to work on him anymore. This one's rare. I just need to catch it or give it food if I happen to see one again. This guy, he's got to learn a couple moves that I don't have. These two I don't Three I don't have on me. I'm waiting for him to learn that rollout move. This one just learned soft boiled, so. If I do it 12 times, if I do the move 12 times, he'll go up four research levels. He'll be at eight. And then if I evolve him, which he's ready to evolve right now, that will get him to 10, and I'll be done with Chansey and get his final form. I think it's Blissey or something like that. Honestly, I don't know a lot of the names anymore uh, for any of the later generations. I know the original 151, but like the back of my hand. That's fine. It's everything else. All right, so let's wrap up Chansey here. Let's, if I find something kind of weak we can work on. Ooh, Onyx. What are, so I feel like I have to check this all the time just to see with every different Pokemon I'm going to find out here what I need to do. So if I catch another one, that'll get me quite a bit of points. Might as well try. And you can like, you got all these different tactics where you can feed them, smoke bomb them so they don't see you. There's a lot of different kinds of Pokeballs. Hitting them in the back gives you a significantly better chance. Hiding in grass does a lot. Um, when that was a large specimen, sometimes they're larger or smaller than others. It's almost unnoticeable to you unless you have them right next to each other, but that's a thing. So now he's up to five points. If I beat one with some water moves or two, that would go a lot faster. I just don't have anyone with any water moves. Alright, so let's do the soft-boiled stuff on this guy. I think it's just a healing move, if I remember. So I can do all 12, possibly, in this fight. Holy health! You can't see the health because it's right behind me. But he's got f almost 400 health. 395. He's not going to die. I'm going to get all 12 done in this fight. Evolve him right after this. Cheers, by the way. It's nice there's like the day and night cycle too. Um, morning, midday, evening, night. And different Pokemon will come out at different times. But the night cycle is actually really fast too. Like in a lot of games, if there's a day and night cycle, it's based on real life. Or you've got to change your internal clock on your Switch. Or whatever the console was. DS, Game Boy. Um, oh, he doesn't have... doesn't have twelve PP so he can't even do the move twelve times. And I don't think it counts if my health is full either. I've made some miscalculations here. I'll just do as much as I can. So anyway, so that day and night cycle just moving on like a I don't know, twenty minute clock anyway. Uh, is really nice for being able to catch the different ones and not actually having to be on at certain points of the day. It's like, I can only play when I'm streaming. So I would have to uh, change the clock on my Nintendo and go offline to catch anything in the morning or midday even.
But I would catch the evening and the night. I'd get all of them. And there's just so many. Like, you keep going into these little um, areas within the greater area. And... There'll be three, four in that area. Just tons of them all over. And depending on the time of day, you know, there might be five, six, seven in that area total. You know, ghosts always seem to come out at night. Alright, so I got nine off. One of them didn't count because I already had full health. So I can't use Chansey anymore. No point in it anyway. I'm getting these different Pokemon. These are like the guy I'm riding is like a guardian or something. I never caught it or anything. It's just decided that anytime I blow a whistle, it's going to come magically out of nowhere and let me ride it around. Eventually, there's one I've seen for flying and for crossing the water. So all those like HM moves you don't need to learn and teach to anybody. You just kind of have it. And I can't see where anything is because of this fog. There's fog. There's rain. Uh, so different weather events that make it interesting too. I love it. There was a lot of work that went into this considering the fact that they didn't add any new Pokemon that I'm aware of. Well, you know, maybe you could say they did uh, if you think about the different variants of them based on the region. Oh, I went the long way. So you can see here, the males and the females of this species look different. It's kind of interesting. And I'm OCD, so I kind of order them and list them. Are they apex or not? They're apex. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but right below the top donation follower... And little thing up there, you can see just that little little red mask up there. In the top right means it's an apex. And then I go down by level. He's all done. Chansey's almost done. Look at Tongue. If he goes up one more level, he'll be close to done. So who do I need to work on? Could work on Skun Tank. AKA Elvis. And I think I'll finish up with the one I've got sitting over there, Curlia or something. So I, oh, I, I kind of just keep rotating them out based on who I need to do um, stuff for here in the Pokédex. So every time you've done a certain amount, talk to the professor, he checks in the ones you've caught. He pays you an amount for what you've caught and how you caught them. And then looks at what you've learned through your observations and then marks off your Pokédex. So now he's done. He's at five, five, done. We'll just go out here and finish Chansey quick, come back. And you gotta use them to like mine resources. You can use resources so you don't have to buy all your Pokeballs and potions and whatnot. You can just craft them yourself.
it's nice you can send them out at will. Like I like the old, there were some games like Soul Silver and Pokemon Yellow, where you could uh, just have one follow you, but at the pace you're moving around, it's kind of nonsensical. So you can just cast them out whenever you want. I guess that's fine. Perfect. Get your hits in now. Because after I soft boil three of these eggs, it's lights out. Cheers. The only thing I'll say is that um feels like a waste of time when I put any effort into a Pokemon only to come find out that there's an Apex version that I could have been working on. So like I've leveled up or evolved uh, low level guys I worked on forever only to find that there's a large version of them I could have and you always want the big guy, right? And some of these moves work differently like Hypnosis and the uh, status effect moves always work. But Hypnosis, you'll drowsy and sometimes you won't fight back. But also sometimes um, you can fight right through it. So it's not like a definite thing. So they've kind of changed, excuse me, how the status effects have worked. Which is also very cool. They've got five large areas. I've put uh, a whole weekend when I first got this game into this. And then I decided to stream it. Now, it's been at least five days. And I'm only in the second area. So, I did this area, this area, and I think there's three more. There's like the mountains, the snow area... I don't know what else. Maybe over here. Over here. Something beachy or coastal would explain the fish legend I'm going to get. But uh, I can tell that there's going to be five because if you look here, instead of badges, I've got this little red symbol thing right there. And there's five of them. So I beat one guardian, which was Cleaver. It's like some alternate... Uh, evolution for Scyther, I found out. And, uh... I think there's rampaging guardians everywhere that you gotta beat in some special type of fight. They're not, they're not normal fights. Which makes it very interesting. Nice. Okay, now let's see what we got to do with this one. So it's not going to count that I have them until I've reported that I have them. And it looks like, based on some of these things, this one I can just catch straight up somewhere at some point. Draining Kiss, Double Edge, Strong Style. So I don't have Double Edge yet. So draining kiss and strong style it is. And also, I guess I didn't explain that. There's two type, types of moves that you can do outside of your normal. Um, strong style will mean that the other guy that you're going against, or multiple, because multiple, they, if there's a few of them close enough to you, you can see the turn order over there. Uh... <laughs> Um, so you saw there, Yanma's gonna get two turns after me if this doesn't kill him. Strong style will do a little bit more damage, but you'll lose a turn possibly based on your speed versus their speed in the long run of the fight. However, um, what's it called? Agility style? Ag agile style? Is the opposite where... 
you will possibly gain a turn, but it's going to be a lot weaker. So it kind of allows you to strategize a little bit. Actually, I do want to go back. So we're going to go back to the city because I do... Every once in a while, I want to go back and check. There's two rare Pokemon in the first area that I have unfinished business with. Looks like this guy has a quest for me now. And there's all these side quests, which I love. I love having all this side stuff to do. The story's pretty good, and there's actually... It's a way more in-depth story than normal. I don't like it because it's just reading as much. Other people might like it, but I do like that they put time into a more in-depth story than the other ones have felt like there was. Alright, so I've caught the Pokemon in this photo already. It's a uh, Baneary. Oh, going the wrong way. You can have him. He's all yours. Okay, so now we're going to go to the first area. Oh, so when there's a little Pokemon like that in there, that means there's, as you can see right above me, a mass outbreak of a specific kind. I don't care about that kind. I've already done everything there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to the Heights Camp, and we're going to try to find the Munchlax. So Munchlax is the baby version, you could say, of a Snorlax. As far as I can tell, there's no breeding. So you just got to go out and capture them again. But you can also, like, I can try to throw a Pokeball and capture everything in sight at the same time. Which is super interesting. Son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. He's never here. Unless he's supposed to be farther down the hill. And I've just been too lazy to go this far. That can't be. as I thought he's just not here this is I don't know I've looked for him around here probably six or seven times and he showed up once so it's real unfortunate what I've read online about how to find munchlax the super, super duper rare Pokemon is to uh, go back to the village, which will reset what's here and what's not here. And uh, yeah, there's a flying Gyarados. I've already caught him out of the air once. Check out my shorts on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram if you want to see how I did it. Otherwise, it was, I think it was maybe in yesterday's episode, or maybe the day before. I don't remember. That's a lot more surfing than just finding the shorts. That's an apex right there. So he's giant, he's got the glowing red eyes. Looks evil AF. Now we're hoping that our happening is going to be here.
and he's not. So we're gonna have to rampage and beat up everybody in here, like it's their fault. Sorry, my chop. It has to happen. It has to. Is it Agile? Yeah, I don't think it was Agile. I think it was the other one. So sometimes he'll be right in here. It's the only reason I happened to find him is I just was walking through and there he was. Strong style, okay. Some more strong style draining kisses. Actually, he might already have, whoops, double edge. Also a great thing. You can switch out whatever moves they've ever learned at any time. Except for obviously in battle, but other than that. Let's see what Blissey wants. Fight or the rocks? She goes rocks. Now we're gonna fight. As you can see there, there's a small amount of XP they get for going out and collecting stuff for you. I swear I just saw it come up, and I swear there's been times where I don't see it come up. So maybe it's certain things that they're collecting that you'll get XP for, some you won't. You just got 15 XP for that one. Maybe the rocks, maybe not the trees. They can also just pick up stuff off the ground for you. Maybe the game's like, that's too easy, they don't get XP for that. You know, it's just as easy as everything else. I don't know. Oh, hello. And if you, for some reason, in the ultra rare possibility, get knocked out. A satchel of some of your stuff will drop. But somebody else online can help you get it. I just helped Maddie. So I get some points and some stuff, and so you have to get a lot of these satchels. Help out a lot of people get their stuff back. Um, and then when you do, you get items that will help you evolve trade-type Pokemon. So, hella worth it. And I see I have this ordered by research level, so top guys are right here, and then the ones I'm closest to are at the top. So he's at seven now. Just so have to keep doing what I'm doing until I get him there. This one's got to use Draining Kiss two times and then evolve. That I can do, that I can do. Who else do I have with me? This guy. So Yama, when he learns a certain move, he'll evolve. Same with Lickitung. Lickitung's only a level away. So these two are kind of one and the same. Does this one have Draining Kiss? It does. So we'll have to get the four off with this one. So I think... I'm set to be on, but I, I'm basing this off the names that I am not getting real people satchels. How many points to say I got? 599, and I think most things are like 1400, so you have to get like a lot of satchels. We'll go to the Boglins. 
Boglins. And, uh, yeah, we're almost ready to move on to the storyline part. I've done a lot. Cheers. So I've been through all of here, all of this left side. We'll get that satchel. But what I have not done is gone up in here. And then eventually we'll have to move into these caves. So it kind of looks like right here in the diamond settlement. Which will also unlock this area up here. And then we can do all these things. What I'm thinking is that the guardian for diamond is going to be the fish guy that's going to allow me to move through these rivers and make it so it's so much easier to navigate here because it's it's got everything cut off on purpose. And then the raging Pokemon that we've got to collect, or beat, I should say, to end this area is right in here. That's my theory. Let's go! It's a haunt over there. We gotta catch it or beat it or something. It's not effective. Oh, sh shoot. I made a grave error. Alright, well, I don't know. So, we're gonna put up Type Felosion. We're just gonna beat him up. Make sure he remembers the name. Okay, so Haunter... Catch another one here at night, that'll be good. Oh, there's two. There's three. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know if I have any more dark titanium's. Let me just oh look into that. Dark type? That is not an aggressive move. So if I just defeat one more, or even one more point, I really don't want to. I want to catch him. Ow, what the? All right, I guess you got to go. <laughs> the time to play has ended. Never knows, ghosts are weak to other ghosts. Also nice. If this is anything like sword, in sword and shield, there was a lot of trade um, types of Pokemon. That you could just straight up catch. So like Gengar, one that you always had to trade to get to evolve. Or have a specific item in today's game. Now you can just uh, find him somewhere out and about. He's probably an apex in this game. These feather balls and wing balls shoot like that where they go super far. Heavy balls, these kind of black ones. Feeding another one's not going to do me any good.
Um, don't go very far, but they're pretty effective. As you can see here, the Pokemon can actually attack you. So you can black out that way. As opposed to... Um, your Pokemon all being knocked out both ways. Knock you out. 7, 8, 9... Closest thing would be to capture two more. But I don't think that's how this is going to play out. So I think we're just going to have to beat up two more. Alright. So I believe Blissey learned a new move. No. Who was it? I saw someone learn a new move. No one did. I saw it. I swear to the lords, the heavens themselves. That's disappointing. Game making me look like a fool. It's alright. Alright, we got two haunters out here right now. We'll just beat him up. No big deal, that'll finish off Haunter. NBD. Tank guy. So we haven't defeated one. We defeat one with ground type moves. We'll be in a good spot. Does anyone have ground type moves? Bulldoze. All right, look at tongue. You're our man. If you can't do it, no one can. And I don't think look at tongue can take a straight on hit. So we're gonna have to mess him up here. Do a little swippy swap. Hope this doesn't get him killed. Sometimes you still get your move, sometimes you don't. Oh, I think I'm in the clear. I should have done strong style though. Okay, it didn't matter. <sighs> okay. So he'll be up to seven then. That's good, that's good. 
roll out. We'll do that, yeah, why not? from all that, okay. This is gonna have to roll out six times. Yeah, you're probably not the one. There's Onyx. I don't think I have any water type moves. Nope, nope, definitely not. Let's just go. So this might be a multi-fight here. Oh, it's a three-on-one. We're gonna take out the ghastly next. Obviously, as we can see here, he's gonna do the most damage to me. Actually, I might bail. Still gonna take out ghastly next. Boy, I didn't put on and put on rollout like I thought. Not that it matters, I need to beat him with this move anyway. leveled up. That's good. All right. I'll be back in one minute.
<clears throat> All right. I'm back. Let's go. Um, let's see where we're at. So if we beat up another one, it goes to seven. What about these guys? Maybe we'll just heal up everybody quick. We'll let Blissey handle him. Blissey's a hell of a tank. I don't have another Pokemon with near the health that this one's got. I didn't do strong style, I'm a fool. Realized I have yet again forgot to put on his rollout move. Cheers. So we'll do the draining kisses here. I think she needs to do three. And I, it looks like I'm going to get three off if she doesn't die. All right, well, maybe just two. And then Evolver, yeah. Oh, come on. All right, you want to go. First of all, let's get rollout on the moves here. <laughs> and now it can evolve. Look at that. It's got to do the rollouts first, though. <clears throat> Six of them. And we'll get Licky Licky. Which, personally, I'm very excited for because I've got a Pokemon board game. You buy... It's a Pokemon drinking board game. It's really fun. And you get uh, six random pieces. And Licky Licky happened to be one of the pieces I got. So there's a little connection there. Wow, because I just learned it. At, okay, so anything you just learned has only half the uh, PP. Which is the amount of times you can use the move before you can't do it anymore. And Rollout is fixated on it because every time you do it, 
Um, yeah, I guess I don't need to heal him yet. It gets more strength. So we've done it twice now. You can see how it did like a third of the health and then the other two thirds. Look at Tongue new Oh, the move mastered. That's what I keep messing up here when I think they've learned a new one. All it's saying is that it's mastered so they can do heavy style or um the other one. Agile. There's a random parasect over there. I guess I usually don't see them around these parts. How did I get up here? Oh, I guess like that. So I found the look at tongues before. Oh, I thought I could make that camp. Anyway, we're going to use Look at Tongue to take out this quick attack. And we'll evolve him to Licky Licky. Cheers. Yeah, you did it too well. We need to fight something else. Side Duck, it is. See him do that droopy little eyes. Man, slow night. It's a surprisingly slow night. The slowest night. Uh, and the least likes reactions I've had in a very long time. Your Thursdays are those wild days, though. Anything can happen. They can be my best day or my worst day. I've had Thursdays where I get peak numbers of reactions, people coming in, people saying hi. We've got 13 comments. Five reactions. My worst day I've had in a very long time. Unfortunate. Oh well, I had fun. Hey, here's my look at tongues. Anyway, so he should be good. Oh, he's gotta come back to me. Is up to eight. He still doesn't know double edge. 
Oops. Licky? Motherfucking Licky. Jesus. There's an alpha Licky Licky? Oh boy. Strong style Zen headbutt. I don't think I have that. Oh, I do. So I've been up here before. This must be where I found the Lick of Tongues before this. Susan, thank you for the like. You're the hero of the show right now. You're 15% of our likes. Made it. So this is the last area to explore before we have to do the main quest. It's a small area, so we're just going to look through it quick. See what we can find, if anything... It feels like it sees me. Another one bites the dust. Ah. What's happening? Oh, he's got a side hook problem. Cheers. I don't know if I did it. Cheers to you, Susan. Thank you for the like. Alright, let's just go then. You and me, let's fight. That's gonna crush him. Should have seen that coming. Let's just bring him back. He deserves some XP for this. Yeah, it's not gonna do much to... It was a critical hit. It's a chance that that wasn't high. So 
So I picked him for one deliberate reason, and that's if he does any ground type moves. Should be in the clear. Shouldn't be a problem. Cheers. Catch one more would be good. Just needless to say. Man, this whole area feels a lot bigger than it looks. Okay, so maybe this area stretches over the hill. It's a little bigger than I thought. We're just going to do this lower area then. Because we're a little bit past time. Uh-oh, didn't mean to do that. I didn't even know there was this easier area to climb up. But I must have come up this way once before because I remember these Rhyhorns. Both scrotumus. Okay. Onyx. Six, seven, eight. Use rock slide on me. That's ten. We're done with him. What about the skunk tank guy? Well, there's five things there, so it doesn't even matter how good they are. He's done. There can't really be something still chasing me, can there? Maybe that's why the eye's blinking? Whatever. Oh, nice. I can fast travel there now? Ha <laughs> ha! Success. Just a little bit, just a little bit of some rest and we're good. Now we've got a huge stack of Ultra Balls just like we wanted. We're getting a good stack of the things that we actually need or want. Uh, so that's good, that's good. that up a little bit get that back up to a reasonable level oops I wanted those oran berries all right let's clean up whatever's going on here I'm 
let's sort that. Okay, so we got this. Use it on you. Why not? Move you up a level. Okay, and everybody here still has work to be done. Should be a lot done on the observations, though. So, Blissey, level 8. 12 more draining kisses and 4 strong style moves. 9 strong style moves could get us there. So, that one will be a grind. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah 9. So, we'll have to grind that out. That'll be next episode. Still need one draining kiss from Curlia. Maybe we'll do that quick before we end it. We'll do that quick so we don't forget about it. And we'll just level her up. Licky Licky's gonna have a long way to go. Once we get that Giga Impact move, it won't be so bad. We can do strong style headbutts. Three of those will get us up four. We'll be at six and whenever we get Giga Impact, we can do two of those. Licky Licky will be done. Lick a ton done. Onyx done. Psyduck done. We already hit Psyduck done. Um, Rhyhorn a lot closer to done. Looks like we can do some things here. Move that along. Skuntank done. Stunky done. Typhlosion. I'm just mastering Typhlosion at this point. And how is it that you can get to five capture? Is this through trades? Like, why, why, why do they do this? Ran. Okay. I believe there's two level ups here for Curlia. If it's a male. Mm. And I have a Dawn Stone, which I do not. I can evolve it. And if it's a female, it'll go up at level 30. Let's just hope I have a female. Because I don't have the stone. I do. Alright. And we'll rest quick just to make sure that's not something we forget about. That one can wait. That one can wait. These two got some fightings to do. Well, it's looky looky. Look at these two. A couple of hams. We got our big fire guys right here. This is where we'll end it. Well, it was a fantastic week. Uh, I had a lot of fun. We generally did pretty good on the stream while live playing this game um just not some thursdays everyone's super busy and nobody shows up some thursdays everyone shows up so you never know what you're gonna get and that is the hand we were dealt this time that's all right 
a lot of fun, and we've got a long ways to go with this game yet. So we'll be playing, and there's better days ahead. Uh, thank you to everyone who did show up and support. So let's see. Thank you, William, for the like and share. Kayla for the like. Thank you, Uncandy, for the like. Sam for the like and share. Brianna for the like. And Susan for the like. Um, pretty small list we got here today, but that's okay. I appreciate every single person who uh, took the time. So one person got the answer right today, and I think I know who that was. The last person to come in and vote was Susan. So I'm going to say, Susan, this is most likely you who got it correct. Oh, oh. Everyone else got it wrong. Uh, what is the strongest known magnet in the universe? Is it dark matter? Is it neodym neodymium magnets? Is it a black hole or a magnetar? I voted the same way as everybody else, the large majority, and I got it wrong. Oh. It was my third guess. Uh, the last thing I guessed was, um, and so I guess I didn't even guess it. It would have been my fourth guess was. Neodymium magnets. I don't know how to say it. Uh, spelled N E O D Y M I U M magnets. Um, nobody voted for that. Nobody oh, believes no. the only word with <laughs> the only one with the word magnet in it isn't the correct answer, and everyone's correct. So congratulations. Uh, nobody messed that one up. Dark matter. Fourteen percent voted for that, and that was like my third guess. No, second guess. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about dark matter. Other than it exists, we think. I don't know. Do we even have any? Probably not. Maybe. 71% uh, voted for this. This is the first one I guessed as well. Black hole. You think black hole. It sucks and everything, right? Um, if there was ever a black hole close enough to our universe, it would suck in probably all the planets and the sun because that's how big and powerful they are. Incorrect. It is not the correct answer, 71% is wrong. It was Magnetar, which is 14%. One vote. We didn't have a lot of voters as well as just not a lot of people who showed up tonight. So I believe that was Susan because nobody voted for it prior to her showing up. So let me explain. Magnetars, a type of neutron star, are the bizarre super dense remnants of a supernova explosion. So when a sun goes boom and then condenses down into this tiny little thing and... I think that's after they were like white dwarfs or something like that. Like when it explodes and supernovas and it comes down, it's like a tiny little star. It's white light that eventually goes nothing. And then it's just like a little rock that's left behind. So eventually the theory is that every sun will eventually do this in however million, trillion, gazillion years, whatever the multiplication of the number is. It's a, such a big number. We can't even fathom it as people, as humans. It's a number we'll never have to deal with in our lives. But eventually this will happen to all the stars and eventually everything will go blank. And there'll just be darkness in the sky and there'll be nothing out there. Nothing alive at all. And then eventually they think there's a big bang that restarts it all. And it's just this endless cycle of the exact same thing over and over and over again. So this is kind of that. So it's the remnants of a supernova explosions. Plural, according to what I'm reading here. They are the strongest magnets known in the universe Hundreds of millions of times more powerful than the magnetic field surrounding Earth. So the very thing that keeps us held to the ground and not floating out into space. So that's the answer there. I had no idea. I've never heard of it. I learned something new. Hopefully you did too. So uh, thank you again to everybody who showed support tonight with whichever way you did. Through your likes, your shares, um, and your comments. Uh, if anybody out there is watching the stream after and you have not followed before, please do. It helps out a lot. And uh, if you want as well, drop a like, share, comment, stars, whatever you want. Uh, all those things help out a lot. If you're over there on YouTube, glad to see you. Good to see some people over there watching the YouTube. Um, check it out if you have not. If you're over here on Facebook, Black Ram GX Gaming. We've got all of our streams up for a very long time. There's tons of content, tons of different games we've played. Check it out you'll probably like something in there. And we got tons of shorts as well that we post up there. Those are the little one-minute clips that you can keep scrolling through. They're really funny. They're informative. Show some rare stuff. It's pretty cool. Check them out. It's a good time. Over there on TikTok and Instagram as well. Just look up Black Ram GX. Um, maybe with or maybe without the gaming. I don't really remember at the time. So <laughs> I think it has the gaming. 
I don't know. I'm on it every day, and I just don't pay attention to the name. So anyway, I've got it right here. Eh, it doesn't matter. You'll find it if you're looking for it. Um. So yeah, it was a good week. We are swamped this weekend per the usual. So probably won't be on it all this weekend. Um, but we'll be back on Monday through Thursday like we usually are. Uh, every single week doing our normal four episodes, six to nine central standard times when we're live. Check us out. Be there or be circle or triangle or square, whichever one you want to be. Uh, so until then, stay fresh cheese bags. Deuces.